Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. My name is Charles, and in this video, we're going to continue um, working on our mechanic of attacking. Um, in our last video, we were taking a look at our player, and they were able to basically attack using some of the combos, and, and all of these combos that uh, we currently have are all kind of pre-made. And just to take a quick look at that, um, if you go to trigger action or trigger attack actions, uh, click on the melee weapon, you can click on then the base underscore sword weapon that I created. And if you look at these particular combos here in the combo creator, um, these were the ones that we were testing and making sure, or at least kind of looking at and how, how they work, okay, in terms of like the conditions and the melee clips and whatnot. But in order for these to really work and understand how everything really connects is uh, taking a look deeper into the melee clip because the melee clip is going to define the actual um, animation of for that particular attack or swing or whatever it is that you're doing. So let's take a look um, at melee clips for this video. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and click on one of these. I'll just take a look at, for instance, my attack one. And then here in the project folder here, I'm going to click on my attack. And on the right side, we have our melee clip. All right. Now you can easily create a melee clip um, by going right clicking, say in your folder here and going create game creator. Oops, not seen. Now let me delete that and go back, right click create game creator melee melee clip that's how you, how you would actually create one um, but for now we're just going to continue to kind of look at what's already part of the examples so that we can get an understanding how it works and then we can start kind of uh, making it our game more unique I think so so the first thing you can look at the top here for this particular attack uh, my attack one you have the animation and this animation is going to be uh, an animation that you would get, say, from Mixigmo, um, anywhere, I guess, from the Unity store. But this animation will be something that you would use for the actual swinging of the app uh, of the sword in this case. Right. So you would uh, get your animation there um, in terms of the avatar mask. Um, that's if you want to mask off certain parts of the body. So if you just want the upper body to move as opposed to the lower half you can put a mask there. We're not going to be utilizing that here in this moment. Um, it also has something called transition in and out. I haven't messed with that. Um, I don't really change these things yet, but um, you may need to. Um, a next part is called motion. And I believe kind of the way this works is that it pulls some forward sides and vertical motions, extracting that information from the animation clip. Now, of course, I didn't build this module or any part of game creator so i can't tell you exactly how it all works but um we can kind of play around with this and see how it affects our animation but ideally you would just like select so if i were to go in here and do this and then hit extract it's going to extract some data from that animation clip and ideally that data is probably going to be pretty correct unless you want to manipulate it yourself um, you have a movement multiplier so I believe the movement multiplier, and if I were to take a guess, uh, let's go ahead and hit play and see how that is affecting our, um, our player. So if I go back to my attack one and I put my move, movement multiplier at three, you see how they kind of move forward like that? So we could really get our player to move really far up or we can have them move point one and they barely move forward and that may be something that you want to look at and uh, it's a nice addition to having that there so if you just want point five maybe you just wanted to move up just a little bit um, so um, things like that would probably be um, important so if I were to do say three again I believe this is just for this particular attack so um, or this particular clip so let's see here if I do that, see how it moves forward, but the other ones don't move as far forward. And so um, you can just kind of play with that. I'll leave it back at one for now. Um, of course, in terms of the effects, you have a slash sound. Um, we have that and that's what that is. Um, let's see here. 
and let me make sure my desktop audio is turned on and hopefully you can hear that so that sound there is uh, the slash um, it has something called push force uh, I'm not exactly sure what that is affecting yet maybe it has something to do with when you're attacking or hitting uh, an object is possible um, but I believe that is that so we'll play with that later hit pausing again part of um, uh, hitting something we're not attacking or hitting anything for now um, we have the combat is attack is blockable defense poise um, these types of things are just going to be part of the combat part so we're not attacking any enemies yet and below is another special part which is super incredible um, this is going to help determine uh, for instance the combo and when each button can be activated and so let's take a look at that so um, the first thing I want to do is turn on my gizmos right so we can see it now this square or cube around the weapon um, is going to be created when you're adding a blade component and everything for your weapons so we'll end up doing that for our axe um, here soon um, but for now we're going to utilize the pre-built-in weapon right so I'm just going to go ahead and swing and just kind of just show you what this means or what this looks like. So, all right. So when I hit the A button or the attack button, you see it's currently transparent. This yellow cube is currently transparent. As soon as I attack, it lights up red at a certain point. Okay. Boom. Red, red, red. Okay. Now that red is this going to be this green section here so for instance remember when we looked at our combos and you had the letter a and then you had the letter a twice and then the letter a three times that is in order to do a combo so if i were to hit the a twice immediately it didn't do the second attack and you're trying to ask yourself, why isn't it not doing the second attack? I hit the A twice or I hit the input twice. That's because the second time we hit the input, that second input was not occurring during when the weapon was lit up red. That is the only time in which that input or that frame is active. Okay. So when I swing, now I hit the second button. Red, boom. Soon as I hit red, soon as I hit the attack at the red part, that's when it executes the next attack. And the same thing for the third one. So I boom, boom, boom. And that's how it's, it works. So let's show you how that works. So I'm going to increase this green. Now watch what happens. You see how, how long it's red? It's red even at the very beginning of the attack because this portion here is the start of the animation and this is the end of the animation. So if we want this to basically be able to execute an attack at any point, that is going to be the, uh, the option. So, All right, so let's go ahead and change that back to something else. So I'm going to move this here like this, and let's see what happens. It's only red at the very end. And I can't, even at that critical part, that swing right there, you would think that's where the enemy, the enemy is hitting. But now I double click and it's not doing it. But when I click right when it's red, that's when it executes the second one. So you want to kind of keep that in mind when playing with these sorts of things here. Now, if I move it on the very end, you can already expect as soon as I attack, you see, I was able to get right in there. But you may not want that because you want the animation to follow through. So if you have it too early and you attack, the first, it's almost like you're canceling your own attack, right? So a good spot will be wherever you need it. It's just, it really depends on a lot of different factors. I was playing with this before when I was messing with um, 
like uh like using hand to hand combat like punching and so you know you might want to have the punch come out it's st- when he punches he comes out and then uh you would have this set up at a certain point um so right there is probably good and you also keep in mind that when it's red that's when it's active to also hit the character okay so you want it to be red only when the impact is important so if a character was sitting next to you here just raising your weapon doesn't mean that they should be able to be hit they should only be hit maybe right at the end point point like somewhere around this part so i hope that's making sense a little bit um um to you so all right so we'll definitely look into this more as we start to um look into like our different weapons and we're setting up our weapon but i wanted to kind of go over kind of a little bit of how this works um and i think it's pretty special uh the way this works now below that um you have the on hit and the on execute and these are basically when you hit you want something to be executed some type of action to execute um and then of course we're in play mode right now but um you want something to happen and the same thing on execute uh, if you just execute the attack, you want something to happen. So um, you can do that. Maybe you can use something to deal damage at this point um, or whatever, or play some type of sound or animation or, or just something in the game you want to be executed. So we'll play with that as well. Um, this video was meant to be just kind of to go over just this part, just to get us started here. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. For the next set of videos, I'll be releasing one every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So, to stay up to date on the latest 3D platforming tutorial, feel free to subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support, you can find me on Patreon, or of course, you can hit me up on Discord. I like to talk about whatever project you guys are working on. Of course, thanks for hanging with me. Your support is always appreciated. As always, remember, never give up and keep moving forward. Peace.